Hi, my name is Pascal, and I'm very excited to share this business presentation with you. Betty and I have been involved in this business for the last 27 years, and the reason we started this business was very simple. We wanted to make an extra $200 a month to supplement my salary as a civil engineer. But after seven months of very hard work, I equaled my income as an engineer, and I decided this business was going to be my, our future. And we've been very blessed. The business has grown to different countries around the world. So I want to share this business with you if you're a prospect or if you're a guest who've been invited to watch this presentation. Now, there are essentially four ways that people use to generate income to provide for their families. The first is called a job. It's when you work for somebody for 30 days and after 30 days, they pay you a salary. A job is good at least to give you the chance to put food on the table, to have clothes on your back or to have a roof over your head. The challenge of the job is that anytime your employer can come and tell you, we don't need your services anymore. In fact, Oxford University did a research and found that by the year 2040, 50% of all the jobs in the world will not exist. Not that they won't be those jobs, the jobs won't exist for two reasons. Number one, the advance of technology. Number two, artificial intelligence. So if you have a job, think again. The second way that people used to generate income is big business. These are people who get a lot of capital, a lot of money. They employ a lot of people to try and provide a product and service to the public and generate a considerable amount of income in millions, sometimes billions of dollars. In Africa, we have companies like Safaricom PLC in East Africa, Vodacom in Southern Africa, MTN, ShopRite Checkers. These are people who invest huge capital to grow their businesses. The third way that people use to generate income is self-employment. This is when you get your life saving, you borrow money, you mortgage your house, you start a business to provide a product or a, to the public. Self-employment is good because you determine how fast you want to build your business or how long you want to work. There are a few drawbacks. Number one, the business tends to depend on you as a person. For example, if you fall sick, you want to attend to family issues, you want to go for holidays, you need two things. One, you need somebody who understands what you do and, you, and number two, somebody you trust so that the business doesn't collapse. There's a very simple test to, to know whether you own a business or not. Go away from the business for 60 days. If the business collapses, you don't own the business, the business owns you. The fourth way that people use to generate income is investment. This is when you get money which is over and above what for your daily need, and you invest in a, in a company or a product or an instrument that gives you a return on the investments. Two things are required, the knowledge of investment and the skill of investment. What most people do is they get somebody who is experienced to do it on their behalf. Of course, you pay them a fee. But the question is, is there an ideal business? Is there a criteria you can use to determine that this is a, an ideal business for building wealth? I think it needs to have the following elements. The first, you need to get involved in consumable product. Why? because they have a repeat sale. You see, a pair of shoes is not consumable. You buy one after six months, after eight, 12 months, or two years is when you buy the next one. But soap, not very romantic, but keeps you clean, and people buy it every single month, and people use it every single month. The next one is you need a business that you can do part-time. That means you don't need to quit what you are doing. You simply spend a bit of time to build your part-time business, until the income either surpasses what you're currently earning or it gets more depending on what your choice is. So you need a business that you can actually build part-time. In our business, you need about one and a half to two hours a day to build a business on a part-time basis. The third element is you need leverage and residual income. What is leverage? Leverage is when you find a way to multiply your, the time and effort that you put in your business to generate income. For example, the banks know this, that's why they open branches. Retail shops know this, that's why they open different stores in different locations. To leverage, that simply means they increase the number of people and the time that the business is done. Think about it, you and I have 24 hours a day. We sleep eight hours or nine hours. We take time to rest, take the care of our families, have meals, the rest, you work. Even if you're working 18 hours a day, you can work, cannot work anymore. Leverage simply means you find a system or a means to increase the amount of work that you do. 
For example, if you work for two hours, let me say you work for two hours a day part-time, you get 10 people who also put in two hours. That's 22 hours of work. Supposing those 10 people get another 10 people, that's 100 new people plus 11 is 110, 111 people. If each person works two hours a day, that's 220 hours. That's more than 24 hours a day. That's the power of leverage. Residual income is you're paid for work you have done long time ago. For example, Betty and I are being paid for the work we did 20 years ago. And that's very exciting because the effort we put 20 years ago keeps giving us an income until now. The fourth element is you need global access. There are three things you need to do to be very wealthy. One, provide an excellent product to the public. Number two, you need to be very good at what you're, what you're providing. Number three, you need global access. That means you need to be able to serve very many people. Our company does business in 50 countries which has a population base of 1.9 billion people. The next element is the low cost of entry. This is one of the biggest barriers for people getting into business. In our business, we, you need an average of 75 US dollars, depending on the market you're operating in, to start a business that you have access to 50 countries, you have access to infrastructure, you have access to products, very well designed products are manufactured. And the last thing is you need a business system. A business system is simply a series of tools, procedures, and ways to running a business that you teach the people you cooperate with so that you don't have to be there when the business is being built. Let's look at traditional business. You have a product that the manufacturer makes, once you take it to the consumer. What in traditional business happens is you've got transport, you've got wholesalers, you've got advertisement, you've got retail, all these things add to the cost, the breakages adds to the cost of the product and who pays for it? It's a consumer. In most products, almost 60 to 70% are distribution costs. What do you do in network marketing or in this business? Between the manufacturer and the consumer stands a, a distributor or an individual like myself. So the money the company would have spent to pay all this middleman is paid to distributors when we move products from a manufacturer to different consumers by doing two things. One, using the products. Two, promoting the products and introducing other people to do exactly what you do. And this is what makes network marketing a very lucrative business. Let's look at this company. It's called Neolife. How do you build a Neolife business? Do three basic things every day. Number one, use the products. Why use the products? Because even when you're not in this business, you're going to buy soap, you're going to buy products to clean your skin, you're going to buy supplements, skincare products. So the first step is use the product. The next step is share the business and the product. That simply means get other people to use and promote the products exactly the way you do. We have four ranges of products, cleaning and home care products, skincare products. We have personal care range of products and health supplements. And the third thing you do every day is personal development. This simply means you take time to learn how to become a leader, learn about the products, learn how to build a team, and learn how to build an organization that keeps giving you income when you move products from near life to different consumers. Now, let's look at how you grow your business. This is you. You start the business. You introduce six people to be producers and promoters of the products. What do these people do? They also introduce others to be users and promoters of the products, and the story goes on. The more people you introduce to use and promote the product, the higher your income. This is a very exciting business for you, and if you're a, if you're a guest or, or, or somebody who's been given this presentation, get back to the person who gave you this presentation. Tell them you're interested in becoming an entrepreneur to partner with Neolife, a global company that operates in 50 countries around the world. I'm looking forward to seeing you in one of our meetings in, in, in the town that we are going to do business, or even in the villages where you're going to have somebody who will be presenting the business idea and teaching you how to become successful. I wish you the very best. I'm looking forward to seeing you in our next presentation. Thank you, good day.